Hello, uh, welcome to the next session of the videos how to draw what you see. And this is the second part uh, about the eyes, how to draw the eyes. So, um, here we go. To conclude our <coughs> uh, talk about uh, how to draw the eyes, um, one, is, uh, one thing is very important that you practice also once you, you know, um, uh, for example, once you have, uh, you know, practiced the eyes in front of us, like this, you know, the form, the shapes of the eyes. Once you do that, you know, you're already good in this, you should actually go and start practicing now different angles of the eyes. So, for example, if I have face, for example, something around those lines here, and I have, for example, you know, the eye is going to be here, one eye is going to be here, and of course I have the nose here, somewhere there, I'm going to have the nose part, I'm going to have the eyebrows there, there. So basically, of course, you know, and then you have the lips and everything we're going to do later to this, but first, let's, um, first of all, do the eyes. So from this angle, the eyes behave uh, differently. Okay. So, for example, from this angle, the eye going to be approximately, you know, going that way. Okay. And then you're going to have that way. Okay. So you're going to see probably some parts of the eye over there like this. Okay. And from here over there like this. Okay? So you're going to have basically, of course, the eyebrow going to be going to take, you know, the part somewhere you know, from here to there, okay? So you know that this is going to be some kind of shadowing going on, and this might be slightly shadowing to the eyebrow, so if the eyebrow is here, for example, okay? So you're going to have this kind of thing. So basically this is, of course, as you know, darker, and now it depends the angle, because the, in the, in, if the angle is much more pronounced, you might see actually only, you know, little, so, for example, you might see even very, you see, little. So, basically, this part might be very large, okay, it depends if you have the sockets, whatever it is, under the eyes. If not, you just, this part of the, you know, eye might be very low. And, of course, the eyebrow might be even much more, you know, almost touching, you know, the eyebrow might almost touching the eye. So, everything is depend the angle. Know, of the face. So once you, you do one eye, do the other one, flip it on the other side, opposite side. And um, if you, for example, uh, you should try also to draw a little bit, you know, eyes, for example, from the top. So from the top, you're going to see, you know, eyes like this approximately. Of course, here is the nose and everything, you know, the nose is going to be somewhere there. Then the lips over there and the chin and everything. Anyway. This angle of the eye will behave approximately around those lines, so it depends which you take from the right or from the left. Whatever is the case, you're going to have something around those lines, you know. You know, something around those lines, this eye here, and this is going to be over there. And from here, you're going to have the bay of the eye, and of course, you're going to have the lower part of the eye. And the uh, eyebrow going to actually go here and something around those lines. So sometimes you might even, you know, get in touch with it. So the eyebrow here is going to be approximately, you see, here. And of course you're going to have the shadows here. Inside you're going to have little shadows, as you know, here. Okay, and you have here the eye going approximately that way. So it's, 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 it's just, you know, uh, you should try this kind of angles as well. Try, uh, let's say, for example, from a half profile uh, face. So, for example, if you do kind of half profile, half profile, what it means is when you have the oval and you have, you know, uh, there is the middle part and everything. So the half profile takes approximately 45 uh, degree, um, uh, you know, the angle that direction so for example the nose starts here as you remember from the um, facial proportions I was explaining to you uh, in other videos the earlier videos so this eye here gonna have much more you know in perspective the eye gonna be okay because the nose goes there and you have the eyebrow you have the front you have this and you have the cheek here and the nose goes there and everything. So the other eye is going to be approximately one eye. It's going to stop here and it's going to have this kind of form, okay? 
So basically, and of course from here you're going to have the eyebrow and everything else. So basically this kind of, uh, you have to understand that when you turn the face more, the eye turns, everything uh, turns uh, uh, with the head itself. So in this, uh, in this kind uh, of, um, you know, um, position, of course you have some shadows here, some shadows there, of course there. Anyway, don't go too much in details, it's just about the form, the shape of the eye. So in this kind of position, you're going to have the eye definitely, if you draw a little bit much more realistically. So for example, this part of the eye here, okay, it's going to be rather like this, along those lines. And the socket is not going to be visible here. Why? Because it's going to be partly covered, it's going to be partly covered, you know, by the nose. So for example, if I have here, this is the front, if I have from here, for example, the eyebrow coming, okay, so that is connected to the nose, and I have the line of the nose here, okay, so now the other one, this uh, eye finish approximately here, so you see the angle of this eye is much more, the shortening is much more evident than you're going to have on this side, okay, approximately here, you know, so it's going to have much more evident than on this side, so on this side you're going to have like this, but this part is going to be a little bit longer than this one, okay? Slightly longer. Why? Because simply this face is turned much more there and this is much more there. So now the, with the eyebrows, of course, if you go, you know, a little bit, you know, you have this kind of, you know, eye form visible. So you're going to have a little bit angle. So just remember, don't draw as the Egyptians which it uh, doesn't matter which way the, the, the face was looking, they had only one eye, you know, always uh, seen that way. So, um, and, if, and if the angle is even greater, so you're definitely going to have much more distortions even, you know, much more shortening going to happen in this eye, you know. So you might see even much more less, you know, or just sometimes you might, you know, in this case it would be something around those lines here and the other going to be somewhere here. So, you know, if you go a little bit more and there's the other going to start somewhere here. So we're going to have much more like this, but this is going to be a little bit, you know, that, that way. So you always, you know, if you look, if you're a good observer and you look really what is happening with your model, you're going to see these differences. It's not that they are hidden and you have to know something. This is when you draw from the memory, of course, when you create your books, whatever, you, you need to, you know, and know how to draw these this things in order to get much more you know, credibility um, to your drawings of the faces and everything. So, um, uh, sometimes of those you can have only almost nothing visible, this is the nose, and there you're going to see only this kind of stuff with the eyebrows and everything, and of course the other part here goes there, and this is the nose, and of course if you draw the, the, the eye from here, you're going to see the eye much more, much more, okay, than you see on the other side, okay, so that's normal how it works. So, uh, just practice before, you know, um, uh, once you, you're really very good in drawing eyes, for example, normally, okay, facial impressions. Now you try to connect them, then another exercise is very important after. Once you're very good with one eye, okay, to draw this, you understand, understand how it works, what is the features which really shapes the eye, okay, you can after try to train yourself with drawing to the same, one side, okay, one eye distance as you know, another one, okay, and you go, okay. Different uh, angles, let's say you have something much more around those lines, go there and draw it, okay, and another one draw it that way. So you try to, you know, practice yourself, just simple drawings like this, you know, different shapes of the eyes. Why is it so important to practice a lot of this stuff? Because you need to get to the point when this is going to be kind of going to come to you naturally, you don't have to even think how to do it. You're just going to naturally do this. And once you do, you're good with this kind of um, uh, shapes of the eyes, go after with those, this kind of, you know, angles, whatever is there. So practice the shape of the eye, for example, from the top. You go here, okay? You go what is there. 
okay, and then there, like this, not much, and now do them both, okay? So if you have one, for example, here, there, okay, like this, okay, here, for example, okay, so that, like this, so another one eye distance, and do the other one, okay, do the other one, the same way, okay, so you have what, if you would do, put the nose here, and everything, okay, you will have already, you know, in, in perspective, in the face. So here, of course, is the, you know, um, uh, eyebrows and everything. So you should, you know, practice this kind of lines, whatever the eyes are. And of course, the, 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 the profiles also as well, because in the profile, the eye, when you look at the profile, really profile, profile, the eye is, is going to have really, you know, this kind of shape because the eye in, from the profile is a little bit angular, you see, it goes a little bit there. It's not never like this, you have always a little bit profile there. So, of course, from there you go here, you know, and from here you're going to have something around those lines. You have the eyelashes here, for example, if you just make this eye a little bit more alive. And from here you have, of course, the front. Of course, you have the, you know, uh, eyebrows and the eyebrows, of course, as you know, go there. So definitely, you're gonna have some kind of, you know, shape here and there. And it goes a little bit. The eyebrows go a little bit farther because here you have the front of the face, and here you're gonna have the nose. So definitely, this gonna be a little bit more in shadow. This this parts, okay, even here, and you have the nose here and everything. So that's that's this kind of, you know. Um, different, um, uh, you know, angles you should practice, you know, um, uh, uh, very simple way in the beginning. In the beginning you do just the shapes, how the eye would look if I draw that, you know, from the side, for example, so you know that this is a little bit larger. So shapes like this at the beginning, as I will show here, okay? Now, a little bit much more angular, you go and you know that the eye going to be in such case very kind of even much more shortening done here. So this, of course, is going to be also much more shortening, you see. It's not going to be as wide as here, it's going to go together. So as the, the person turns, of course, let's if, if you do a little bit farther, so it's going to be like, you know, the, the nose is going to be probably here. So you have approximately, you know, the this stuff going, coming like this. So um, it's really um, important to practice a lot different angles of the eyes. The best is from the observation. If you don't have um, um, models or you know pictures, you might do yourself pictures from different angles and after try to draw just the eyes and understand the, the forms, how the eye behaves all on different angles. And uh, or you go to museum and you find one nice, uh, nice sculpture of the face, whatever. And the best is white marble sculptures, not the, uh, anything dark or whatever. And just white. Uh, if you go take pictures from museum, take only white marble sculptures because those are the best to practice uh, shapes and sh shades and everything. And um, so uh, take a few pictures from different angles and after look how the eye form change. Okay. And practice on top of it. So once you're really good with all the angles and you know forms of the from the eyes, put them together. Once you already you know get much more you know um, uh, better with it. So after you can go and you know and try to really you know draw a little bit the eyes. Uh, you know, all together, a little bit better. Of course, uh, first you do always, you know, it depends, you can choose whatever you want, but let's say, for example, for the purpose of our practice, we will choose very simple eyes, you know, and then try to draw them a little bit much more, you know, you know, in the shapes approximately better than, you know, normally you would do here, okay? Try to elaborate a little bit. So basically, if I'm going to just kind of, you know, make the eye a little bit here, like this. I, of course, I have, I'm going to have here the eye, and that way, that way, of course, I have the bay here done. I have this part here done, okay? So I go, and uh, of course, here I'm going to have, you see the space is one eye approximately. So basically, you know, if the nose is here, you go, with the nose, whatever is the shape of the nose, we don't care about this, but from here, 
you understand that this is kind of connection to the eyebrows. And now it depends what kind of shape of the eyebrows we're going to have, okay? So this kind of eyebrow also has connections to the, to the nose. And the same is here. And if you go and you, if you take this part here, if you go like this, approximately around those, something around those lines, you will plan your another, you know, eyebrow here, okay, approximately. And just exercises like this, you know, you, you just try to really, um, you know, find, you know, the, uh, the forms together at the same time, okay? Not just one eye by one eye, but now you try a little bit, work a little bit much more, you know, uh, with something much more elaborated. So, of course, if you just go a little bit, you know, just a little bit briefly, you know, do some kind of eyebrow, eyelash, uh, eyebrow, eyebrows a little bit, and do some kind of shadows here, do some kind of shadows over here, okay, and again, here a little bit shadows, and here a little bit shadows, because you always, in this part, you're going to have a lot of shadows here, okay, so you can go and you can eventually just briefly, you know, those exercises, so you have to just, you know, this is to feel the form of the eye, okay? You have to try to learn how, what is there, you know, first like this. And it's good to sometimes work with the finger because you will feel much better contact with the shape of the eye and what is happening there, okay? So, you know, you go there, there, and you, of course, you're going to have always a little bit shadow here, you know, when the nose is a little bit, as you know, as I explained you previously. Um, so uh, let's go. Let's just emphasize a little bit. We don't really spend too much time on it. There's a little bit here and there to make this, you know, eye a little bit much more interesting. This is divide the sockets here. It's very important to make the division here. And then you go with one side over here, one side from here, okay, like this. And of course, this is important now to elaborate a little bit from the tops, a little bit darker lines, you know, here, a little bit darker lines. A little bit shadows there, a little bit shadows there, and after you have this line, of course, of the eye, you know, approximately, this is this line, of the eye, approximately, okay, and then, and then you go. Here you might have line for the eyelashes, uh, lower parts. So now, if you if you take this as a you know, principal eyebrows. And go for it, and of course, you just make it a little bit darker this part because that's always much more darker anyway. You know? And go with the shadows over here, over here, a little bit, over here, a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, you know, over here, over there. Spread this a little bit more, so now I would have a little bit much more medium here so I could, you know, make this, this this kind of you know, forms a little bit much more you know. uh, and also of course when we go there like uh, lower so I go with this shadows over here try a little bit to this make this form much more you know dimensional the same is from this part you know a little bit much more dimensional this part this part a little bit here so you can feel really really how the form of the eye is building itself everything so you just go you just put here put there put there put there okay and a little bit here now a little bit here a little bit here a little bit there okay and now just let's just finalize finally a little bit you know a little bit darker here of course and you can do some kind of you know another just finalize the line and maybe do some kind of eyelashes you know to get this eye much more Realistic, a little bit eye, eyelashes here and there, okay? And you can do like kind of this inside, really much more darker on the top, a little bit much more darker on the top, you know, and some maybe, uh, maybe thin eyelashes here, thin eyelashes here. But this is like kind of, you know, first, first kind of, you know, encounter with the, with the form of the eye and everything. So you can have to, you know, not with the finger, it's not the best idea. But with the paper, a little bit, you know, something stuff, some something here and there. So this kind of exercises you can actually do it much more, you know, um, uh, uh, many of them, not just one. You can use any kind of medium. You can have uh, charcoal. You can have, 
you know, um, uh, sanguine or whatever, and just enjoy and drawing your eyes, any kind of form of the eyes, and try to fill them a little bit so it's one eye. And again, you go up there, and you go there, and you, you can fill this eye. So such uh, brief sketches of different uh, forms of the eyes, you can you know play with it. So for example, you, know, you can after once you have them in front, you, you also can do it like a little bit. For example, from the angle, you know, a bit like this. For example, okay, you have a pair of eyes, eyes like this, you know, and you just play with it. Try to do it in one you know symmetrical shapes, you know, as good as you can. Of course, you put the eyes inside there, you put the eyes inside there, you know, you put these parts, you can put these parts as well, you know, and look how this is for the nose part, this is for the nose part, of course, it's going to be there, there. Of course, you have here, after, you know, here a little bit, this part, a little bit, this part, and of course, you have your, you know, eyebrows, approximately. So you just go and, you know, practice whatever, you know, uh, as well as you know as you can but brief like this learn before you start spending hours on doing uh, eyes perfectly do first like kind of sketch way this way they like kind of so you get used to, to the form and everything and you're going to be much easier for you after to really try to you know elaborate the shapes much more perfectly okay so once you you know do this you you know that there is some kind of shadows here so some kind of shadows here, there are shadows of under the under the eyes and the, this eyelashes are separate here, you can make a line and again some separate ashes here, eyelashes here and you go with the you know eyebrows and everything. And of course take and take a paper and just you know play with it to feeling a little bit the space, you know, the forms of girl, okay, how it how it goes, how it how it really you know, works, you know, everything. So you will kind of get used to, to the form and everything, okay? And, and then, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. You know, just play with it, kind of like feeling the form of the eye, okay? How it, how it goes. There's one form here, one form over there. So just, you know, play with it. After, of course, emphasize certain parts much more. You can even use actually different color to to emphasize some kind of, you know, much more, as I can show you in the moment, let's say you can take a charcoal or other, you know, you can do it in, in small dimensions, you can do it in your sketchbook, you know, many of those, and it's much easier because they are smaller and you might have, you know, much more pleasure and it will be much more easy to do it on the small paper, of course, and with the pencil because uh, with charcoal is a kind of, you know, it's a different story. You can try whatever, whichever way you want, but, um, you know, and you play with the eyes. You, you try to get to the, you know, as close as possible you know, the forms, the form of the eyes, okay? The form of the eyes. So, then, of course, here you can do some kind of eyelash, uh, eyebrows, you know, here and there. And that's it, you know bit like this and go to another one you know you can go to the another one whatever it, you know you could you can draw another one let's say from the angle that time this and this time you know for example looking you know something for example you know, like you have the front head here and you have another eye for example looking that way you know so you have eye there you know you have eye there and from here, of course, you know that the eyebrows, when they go there, you, then you have the nose here, approximately somewhere on those lines, you have the chin. So you have the eyes here, you can you know, make the one eye there. And now you know that this is kind of another eyebrow is somewhere here, you know, so we just go and, you know, you know that this is going to be in the shadow a little bit, you know, the nose. And take one eye, approximately, is going to be another one, okay, and you go. No, let's say you do this kind of, you know, this is the part. Yeah. So this is a little bit larger because you see it kind of, you know, um, it's not as much uh, perspective here. This is much more angular. So now if you do the nose and everything, you know, you know that this is going to be some kind of shadows here. So just brief sketches like this and try to marry these parts together. You know, this is, let's say, the eyebrows. 
So you can also take the after the piece of paper and just a little bit kind of you know as you connect a little bit because it's kind of connection here, you know, if you're gonna you can really you can draw the nose you're gonna see it. But for now it's just a little bit kind of feeling feeling the form, you know, whatever is happening there, okay? This, with these eyes. So of course you can go and you can make it kind of you know eyelashes here and there. Little bit, little bit here, you know, the stronger parts whenever necessary. And the same we do here, you know, over there. And just do kind of sketches, very, very fast, rough sketches of the eyes, uh, whichever angles they have. Okay? So, um, uh, I really strongly encourage you to practice all these forms of eyes because I, as I uh, would like to repeat again, in the realistic drawing of portraiture, of portrait of anyone, the eyes are the most important part of it. So, the um, more you practice this kind of different eyes uh, placement and angles and everything, much more comfortable you're going to be um, with the realistic drawing, either the portraits or uh, imaginary faces for your project, personal projects. So, good luck to you and see you soon next time.